What's up guys? Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be reviewing the ProxyCast antenna. Uh, what this is for, this is for my Nighthawk M1. I got went to a couple places and I couldn't get reception. Uh, this is a ProxyCast 6.5 8 decibel gain. I don't know if you're going to get that much. I'm going to do some tests though. And I also upgraded the battery for it and a bunch of other stuff. I'm going to make a whole separate video on that because I'm going to do some testing to see if it works. Uh, it's an external magnet, loaded coil antenna for AT&T Nighthawk, USB 800, Velocity MF861, MF985, Verizon Jetpack, 7730L, A791L, 8800L, and uh, goes with a bunch of other stuff too. Uh, when you get these, there's two different cords. Mine is the TS9. It's a newer version. Uh, this is a dual antenna setup. I, th I the reviews on it were pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna get that much, but a little bit of upload and download speed would be a little better for me for the type of work that I do uh, at home. So, uh, with that being said, uh, Pittsburgh Pro Grade Wireless Pittsburgh PA USA. Well, I wonder if it's made in China though. got kind of crushed here and it was definitely squished at one point by something man shipping these days why don't they just take their time I'd rather wait a day well let's hope for the best so let's open this up here and let's see what we got I hope this works okay you're seeing what uh, what I'm seeing what's up here thick styrofoam Good. That's a plus. I don't see any damage from that. Uh, here's one antenna. 12.6 inches. Yeah, I don't know about that magnet on the bottom though. It's not very, it's not very wide. That's okay. A little bit of Velcro will help it. All RVers should have Velcro. <laughs> Velcro and zip ties and duct tape. You can never go anywhere without duct tape. There's the one. Here's the other one. Everything looks good. Uh, I'll take one of these out. I'll show you the TS9 plug. If you can see it, that's what it is right there. And it's a dual antenna, which is nice. It's very nice. Wow. They didn't come with directions. No warranty or nothing. Huh. No directions. They should come with something. Stating warning information, gain, properly setting up. Jeez. Oh, you know, how to set them up, where to space them apart, the best way to get your a better signal. Oh, so I'm missing something here. Nope. It's not in there. Well, let's take one of these out. Let's see what it does. Everything looks good. Oh, boy, the magnet is pretty strong, though. I built this desk, and I use these big, big bolts here to uh, hold it together going down the road. But, uh, dang, it's, some, it's got some power to it. Huh? I'm not gonna stick them there, though. But I'll have to stick them somewhere. I have to find a place for them. Uh, here's the. Let's see. Make sure we can get it focus here. If I can grab it, damn it. That's a TS9 plug. So just a reference. There is two different plugs. I can't recall the name of the other one. It's more like a uh, like your cable coax plug, but probably smaller. It screws on. You know, if you ever hook up a cable box or anything, not an HDMI. Old school. Cord looks pretty long. Let's uh, let's unravel the cord. Cord's super long super long I guess if it had directions it could tell me how long it is I'm not gonna measure it but it's pretty long I mean I may be able to uh, put these up in my dash one on each side of the window and then run it over to because it's pretty my Nighthawks pretty close to the to the window I like it so far there's one everything looks good on this one looks like that unscrews down there 
so far so good oh I scratched it already from putting it on that bolt that'd be right Those Pringles I love my Pringles let's, uh, let's open this one up this one looks pretty good in the bag no water damage or nothing from that box being bagged up and the magnet works too it's actually a pretty strong magnet holy cow I still don't I don't know I'll still put Velcro on it well there they are look seem pretty good both magnets work there's one there's the other one I like the nice, nice long cords that's a, that's a bonus feature uh, let me check the other one here I didn't check the other one for uh, damage on the plug or anything no it looks pretty good everything looks pretty good another loud car driving by they like to drive fast up and down my road it irritates me but whatever well I guess I'm gonna try to hook them up I'm gonna make a separate video though on ever on on all the upgrades that I did to my Nighthawk the battery the and these antennas I also bought a new charger we'll get into that but uh, I hope this this is supposed to boost signal strength and data speeds uh, you can use it it's AT&T Verizon Sprint T-Mobile Bell basically it doesn't matter what the carrier is I don't think you know, as long as they do the 5G or the 4G uh, there's a broad range of how long they can do uh, proven longer range uh, there's supposed to be a, a high gain direct an antenna because the Nighthawk doesn't have an antenna on the outside it's on the inside so this should improve my upload speeds and download speeds in the next video I'll do I'll just set it here on my desk and I'll run it without the antennas and then I'll pause it and run it with them and what have you uh, they're pretty flexible they're really flexible so far so good I don't, I don't think I'm gonna put them on my roof though I don't know, if I'm camped out somewhere I might run them out the window or something and stick them to the side of the RV uh, they're compatible with any 3G 4G LTE router modem or hotspot with the TS9 jack now back to the plug I believe the other plug is an SMA that's what they call it I'm kind of from kind of familiar with that stuff uh, both antennas are 50 ohm if that's something you guys need to be aware of I'm gonna try these out here they look pretty good I actually measured this wire it's 10 foot that's pretty long uh, the base I measured the base it's uh, 1.75 I don't know they could have been a little bit wider that's all right save space I will be using velcro though because I don't have anything metal up on my dash to, to even try them out uh, the electrical properties of this the frequency range is 698 to 960 1710 to 2700 megahertz that's a broad range these will go f so if you get one for your modem or something get the directions open on your modem and see where you're at or if you're in them in them ranges I believe these should work but basically anything they really should it's a 50 ohm and well I don't know if I'll get 6.5 to 8 dBi extra some of the reviews that I've seen they weren't getting that much but three bars is better than one bar I can tell you that because a lot of places I go to with my modem and I'm T-Mobile I'm only getting uh, I'm only getting one bar in a lot of places in a lot of places because the antennas on the inside of the unit these will be on the outside well so there you have it there's your review on the proxy cast dual antennas pro grade it says Pittsburgh USA they didn't come with directions I hope it wasn't used or something they, you, you would think that they would have something in the box stating warranty or, or even how to plug them in I mean I know how to plug them in some people don't know how to plug them in they don't understand the frequency ranges they don't none of that uh, they, sh they should have came with directions or something I hope this wasn't used or refurbished uh, I paid $19 for these off of Amazon 
which ain't a bad price. I mean, 20 bucks to get to gain a couple bars of signal for upgrading and, and downloading. And but uh, I'm gonna see how they work. If they work good, I might throw them on my roof. I don't want to drill a hole, but I may put these on my roof. See what I can get. Anyway, uh, like, subscribe. Till the next video, guys. I gonna make another one right here another one on on my accessories that I got for that Nighthawk I think it'll improve the uh, it'll improve the performance of that this shit so uh, like subscribe you guys have a good day thanks for watching till next time